Welcome back to Money Matters. I'm Emily Johnson, joined by David Kroll. We're here to discuss all things where your money matters. We just left off actually talking about real estate as an investment, sort of where, where cash is going, I think is probably um, the better way to describe where we just left off, because there's mm -hmm. lots of cash on the sidelines. People are starting to feel flush again, for good, bad, or ugly. Sometimes, uh, that, sometimes the concept of the new normal is not bad. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> um, right. So hopefully we're, we're not getting back on that. You know, the pendulum's not swinging again, which it always does. Mm -hmm. um, but so there's lots of cash on the sidelines looking for investment, looking for yield. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult to get a cash flowing investment when it comes to, to a um, fixed real estate investment. Mm -hmm. REITs, et cetera, you can generate some yield, but if you're buying a, uh, a condo or a home or uh, a house, mm -hmm. at least around here, when you figure in the taxes, insurance, um, POAs, et cetera, even with good interest rates, it's tough to, tough to cash flow a whole lot. That said, there's still plenty of money rolling in that direction, and rightfully so, because there's very few places to put it right now. Very few, few places to put it. The way that that expresses itself. Uh, the better it, way to say that is. <laughs> no, no, no. The way that it, uh, that it shows itself uh, from the point of view of uh, Mortgage Network and somebody who's lending money all day long and looking at the individual scenarios is that uh, people have become more decisive. They've become more decisive about uh, uh, where they're going with their lives, uh, what uh, the big decision uh, uh, about acquiring a second home slash retirement home really means to them, uh, whether uh, there's a whole complex of issues that, that have kept people on the sidelines for the last six or seven years. Uh, some have come off the sidelines. We've had modest growth here, but we're about to see explosive growth here for the next 10 to 15 years mm -hmm. because the baby boom really is going to retire. We're seeing it now, and the way that it's the way that it happens is that somebody will say, "Well, you know, uh, yesterday uh, in my office, well, you know, uh, we're going to buy $550,000 worth of real estate." Uh, we're going to carve, we're probably going to be here four to six uh, weeks a year. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, retire in three or four years. By then we'll know whether we really want this place or we'll sell it and get something else either here on Hilton Head or elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But they... There's a plan. There's a plan and there's a decision that you didn't see in the last six years. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't mean that they have more money, although they do, because this rise in the stock market has, uh, it hasn't tripled personal wealth because personal wealth took a dive when we, uh, when we went into the recession and then had to recover before there was a net gain. Mm -hmm. But personal wealth has doubled over the last uh, relatively short period of time. So as long as people have an attitude of, uh, uh, courage and bravery and optimism, then the the money is there to act on that attitude. Right. Uh, it's very interesting when they look at uh, Emily's world. When they look at the world of their investment portfolio, they get foggier quicker. So it's good if they have a, a good financial advisor because the financial advisor sort of helps helps my clients uh, to to stay on track and and to not you know to to not uh, uh, panic to the sidelines. Well, one thing, that, one thing that's that's mm -hmm. difficult for anybody is having that long-term view. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's, these aren't absolutes, but they, they're pretty. I'm pretty confident in, in these statements that the economy typically does double in about 11, 12 years. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a, a standard. The other is that there's typically inflation. Now we might have low inflation and we might have high inflation, but there's inflation. Whenever you do the, the exercise with somebody of what did a gallon of milk cost when you were little and what does it cost now, you know, the, it's a truism, there is inflation. So what does that mean? That means that the dollar that's in your pocket is going to actually be worth less six years from now and it's going to be worth less 12 years from now. So we have the value of the dollar going like this in, in real terms and the what you can buy with it terms, not just if you're buying more expensive Manolos and you're buying something else before. The actual real dollar is going down. At the same time, you have an economy that's going like this. Mm -hmm. So if you're not participating in this and you're just sitting holding on to this, not only are you missing out on this, the optimistic 12 year horizon, which is going to do this, it's gonna, mm -hmm. you're going to have your ups and downs, but you're sitting on something that's actually declining in value. So you actually have sort of a, 
a double whammy that's happening if you end up down here and the economy's up here. It's not just the market. It's the economy. It's what everything costs. It's what your home costs. It's and, that's, and that's why having a core investment in that economy in the form of, uh, of a house has proven worthwhile to mm -hmm. people in the past. That's but, beginning to come into question. Oh, and it, it is beginning to come into question, but again, it's that long-term perspective, as we mm. were just talking about during the break, that it's, it's so much harder to see through the downtimes to the fact that, or to the assumption, usual assumption, that the market and the economy is increasing and it is, is doubling over a course mm -hmm. of about 11, mm -hmm. 12 years, mm -hmm. when you're watching your net worth get cut in half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, know, you, you, you become a, a non-believer. When really what you have to do is, is sort of take some of those truisms, kind of like, you know, not smoking and eating healthy will help you to avoid different forms of cancer. Might you still get cancer? Yes. Mm -hmm. But is it less likely? It, yes. <laughs> the thing to watch for is, is why the people around you, when they make major decisions, what are the core reasons for their major decision? How do they state uh, the, the sort of underlying, uh, uh, I choose to use the word uh, uh, courage or bravery for a decision because big decisions take courage and bravery, but what's the impetus for the decision? What causes them to feel okay about making the, keep an eye on that stuff and that will lead you to clues about economic behavior in general. Uh, uh, we're entering a world where uh, owning a home may not be the best investment. Uh, owning a car in this new world may not even be uh, a reasonable investment come 10 years from now. Uh, uh, collective use of assets is becoming a more and more favored form of, uh, of, of, a, of a personal economic model. Uh, if you own a house, if you own a car, uh, these things have the effect of um, allowing you to participate and win in the economy, they also are a drag on you in the economy. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's, there's two views. What I'm seeing is optimism right now. Me too. I'm seeing lots and lots of people making the decision to buy second homes, to rent them out part time, to, to uh, participate in the economy again. Mm -hmm. So and it's certainly, interesting. And, and there will be bumps in the road. I mean, the, the first one that, I mean, obviously there's so many geopolitical factors that are going on now. We've, we actually haven't talked about terrorism in I don't even know how many months, which is strange because that was mm -hmm. sort of one of the tops of the concerns of what might, what might jiggle the market some. But I think that the next one is probably going to be France and the election in France and whether or not France decides to go the way of, uh, of England. Uh, so. whether, whether the conservative... Uh, 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 social issue driven, uh, immigration driven, uh, uh, kind of... Economically uh, driven. That's uh, uh, it's not true conservatism because we don't know yet what, mm -hmm. what these, uh, what the Trump candidacy, what the Penn candidacy in France, what the Brexit candidacy, what those will actually result in in terms of policy. Mm -hmm. uh, the conservatives are as nervous as the liberals. <laughs> About, sure. about Mr. Trump. They, they don't know what in policy terms, economic policy terms, is going to result here. So I, 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 I have to say his press conferences are more exciting than our show is. <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm thinking uh, about uh, another thing that I'm seeing, and that is that, that uh, the money relative to the price of homes, the money has stayed uh, inexpensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the price of homes, the, the, the market here in Hilton Head uh, is, is tight, inventories are tight, uh, the, the winning combination in every deal is, is who can get the listing, not who can find the buyer. We're mm -hmm. finding buyers, mm -hmm. we're finding willing buyers, so getting good listings is becoming more and more critical. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. It's also interesting trying to generate income. I mean, that's because of the, that low yield and in, in fixed income, mm -hmm. finding creative lower risk ways to generate income is still hard. It's, it's still very Despite difficult. all this optimism and despite the growth in the actual, you know, in mm -hmm. capital gains, um, it's still tough to generate higher income with lower risk. It, it's, uh, it's fascinating. And one, uh, when you move just a neighborhood away, when you move from Hilton Tent out to Bluffton, you have a completely different economy. You've got a, a, a growing economy with an economic center. You have national home builders and regional home builders uh, building record numbers of homes and finding those purchased 
on a near immediate basis. Mm -hmm. So a different economic model altogether 10 miles away. Mm -hmm. So uh, as I say, uh, it's an interesting world and uh, uh, there are no easy answers at the moment. Right. Yeah. But it feels pretty good. Feels good. So, <laughs> so on that note, thank yeah. you very much for joining us this week for Money Matters. Please shoot us your ideas, thoughts, comments, criticisms, everything. We love hearing from you. Until next week, have a wonderful week. This has been Money Matters.